Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I feel like going on. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I feel. I feel like going on. No trials. Amen. No trials. No trials may come. Amen. On every hand. Amen, I feel like going, I, I feel like going. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I feel, I feel like going. Amen, by his grace and mercy, in Jesus' name, no trial, no trial. Feel like pressing my way. I feel like pressing my way. Amen. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. I feel, I feel like pressing my way. No trial. Amen. No trial. You'll come on it. I feel like resting my way. One more time, I feel like going on. I feel, I feel like going on. Amen. Thank the Lord for his grace, for his mercy. I feel like going on. Amen. By the power of God, we're kept. No trial, you'll come on it. No trials come. No trials come on it. Every hand. No trials come on it. Josh, come on up this way. Amen. Let's just stand. If you have a need of desire, just lift your hands unto the Lord. Lord God, thank you so much, Lord God, for allowing us to be here another day, Lord God. And we want to worship and praise your name, Lord God. We want to give you everything that we have, Lord God. Lord God, all our desires, all our affections, Lord God, we want to turn it over to you, Lord God. We want to turn all our problems, Lord, all our troubles over to you, Lord. Because we know, Lord, that you have, Lord God, the ability to be able to help us, Lord God. You have the ability, Lord God, to be able to, Lord, deliver us, Lord God. And Lord Jesus, we want to give you all the praises, the glory and honor that is doing to you right now, Lord God. Lord, we want our worship and our praises to be acceptable to you right now, Lord God. We want your spirit, Lord, to fill this atmosphere, to fill this house of worship, Lord God, to fill this church service, Lord. Lord, we want your presence to come down, Lord, amongst your people, Lord God. Every hand, every desire that is lifted upon you right now, Lord God, we want you to fulfill it, Lord, according to your need, according to your purpose, Lord. Bless the singers, bless the musicians. That as they come forth to worship and praise your name, that, Lord God, you'll be on it, Lord. And that your presence, Lord God, will be, Lord God, here among them, Lord God. Lord, bless the going forth of the service that it feed our soul, Lord. 
In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't see Sister Charlotte, so I got to call up on Pam. Put Pam to work. What is it? Uh, you are here feeling every heart. We worship you. We worship you. What is that? Amen. And then after that one, uh, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lead not to thy understanding. Then we ask uh, Angelica to do uh, our fingers only. <laughs>
Amen. Trust in the Lord. Yes, just the answer. Then the little young people be ready after that. Amen. announcements at this time.
We'd like to welcome y'all to Brian Tabernacle Church Service. Prayer list updates to the prayer list. Donna Gibbs, Laura May Hemingway, Tammy, Tammy Goodwin, Crystal McKnight, Sheila Beaver, Essie Goodwin, David, uh, David Pendergrass. And we want y'all to enjoy the remainder of the church service. Amen. Let's all stand at this time. Amen. 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 Lord, we're thankful this evening, this morning, oh God, that once again in Jesus Christ's name we're gathered, Lord, together, oh God, around your word, Lord, and we pray. Lord, as the song said, all power in heaven and earth is in thy hand, Lord Jesus. You speak the word, it must be done, oh God. Your word said that by your stripes, we're healed, Lord. Everyone that needs a healing on the prayer request, we speak the word that by your stripes they're healed in Jesus Christ's name, Lord. Every need that was made mention, Lord, we pray you meet that need, Lord. Be with the nobles family at the loss of their mother, Lord, and pray you comfort them at that time. And Lord, just bless. Bless the service. Bless the word. Bless the worship, oh God, is our prayer. Just be with us and keep us all now. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless the offering and the tithe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Now I go to old folk time. Can't nobody <laughs> do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He is my friend. Help me sing. Can't nobody, man. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. No, can't nobody uh -huh. do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, he is my friend. Heal my body. Heal my body and soul, soul. Jesus, heal my body and told me to run on. Heal my body and told me, Jesus, he is my friend. Nobody do me like the Lord. Nobody, 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 nobody. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. No. Nobody, nobody. No. Nobody, nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody, do me like, oh, ain't nobody, no, do me like, oh, ain't nobody, no, no, do me like, oh, he is my friend, one more time, ain't nobody, the Lord. No, nobody, nobody. Nobody, nobody. Can't nobody do me like you. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody. 
Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Amen. And I thought about Brother Linwood. <laughs> Amen. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Let us stand. And if you have a special need, you can lift your hand to the Lord. And again, we thank everyone for being here this morning. In Jesus Christ's name. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you for the blood of Jesus that was shed for us, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to come into your house. And Lord, and to say thank you for all your goodness and all your mercy towards us, Lord. I pray, God, that you continue to bless everyone this morning and supply every need, every hand that's been uplifted, every heart. Lord God, because we know you know how to help us, Lord, and we know you are able to do what we need you to do, amen, in order to give us what we need from you, Lord. Yeah. Father, I pray, God, that you would minister to each and every heart, touch and heal the sick and save the lost, comfort the bereaved, whatever the needs are, Father. God, you know, Lord, you know how to help, Lord, you know how to deliver, God. Yeah. So, Lord, you can set the captive free and heal the brokenhearted. In Jesus Christ's name, we thank you as we look to you to bless your word this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Romans third chapter, we thank God. It was just so much coming. I was reading the message, the unpardonable sin. And uh, it was just so much in that. You know, it talks about divine love, uh, perfect love. Amen? So Romans 3 and 23, it says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. That You read the next and we'll read the last verse together. Whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sin that are passed through the forbearance of God. 26. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. 8, 28. Therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. 30. Seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. Together, do we then make void the law through faith? God forbid. Yea, we establish the law. May God bless you to read his word. You may be seated. God is good. Amen. 
You know, I, I, what is sin? And um, oftentimes we see a lot of um, different definitions of sin, but we understand that when we think about sin, we think about the transgressions of God's law. And um, what is sin? He says here in the 23rd verse, for all have what? Sin. All have sin. <coughs> all have sin and come short of the glory of God. Sometimes the scripture is oftentimes used for an excuse for people to sin. And so they said it's nobody's perfect and all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So sometimes people use it for an excuse that we can sin because all have sinned and come short. I told those young people, don't get up when I'm preaching. <laughs> they do it every time. <laughs> all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Are you with me? What is sin? Sin is the transgression of God's law. Amen? And we look at sin as the meaning of transgression or overstepping the law. It's um, God has divine boundaries between good and evil. Uh, an iniquity is when we know what's right and we willfully do what's wrong. Are you with me? So oftentimes we look at sin and what sin is. A lot of, uh, let's look at Ezekiel again. Ezekiel 18. Ezekiel 18. God is good, amen? Yeah. Sometimes we, it's something about, you know, I, I was sharing with the Sunday school this morning, the one thing you want to do when you, when you worship God, you want to show God reverence, you want to show God respect, you want to show God that he's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of praise. We want God to get glory when we come to worship God, we want our worship to be acceptable. See, because it's in man to worship God. But whether or not we do it, you know, with our, from the heart or whether we do it haphazardly. And then when we worship God, we must know what God is requiring and what God wants. Because we can't give God anything. Just anything, God, this is what I'm going to give you. That was the attitude in the beginning with Cain and Abel. Well, what is sin? It's transgressing of God's law. God said in the beginning, he said in the beginning, he says, you can eat of every tree of the garden, but of the tree of knowledge and good and evil, that the day you eat thereof, you're going to die. Don't touch it, don't eat it, or you're going to die. That's simple. You can eat everything else, but don't do that. Where did sin begin? Sin began in heaven. When Lucifer said in his heart, you know, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. So he got exalted and lifted up. In other words, he said, I'm taking over. I'm taking over. I'm not satisfied with what God made me and where God has made me and the position God has made me. So I'm going to take over. I'm going to set my throne. And he convinced the third of the angels that, hey, if <laughs> when I get promoted, I'm going to promote y'all. I'm going to lift y'all up. Are you with me? So we all going to be exalted. Amen. <laughs> and see, sometimes people, uh, uh, the pride get in the way. He got lifted up in his heart. Are you with me? So a lot of times when people get lifted up, they expect for everybody, amen, look at how beautiful I am. Look at what God made me. And, and I, 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 I supposed to be, you know, like God. You understand? So he saw in his, until he was lifted up. 
instead of being humble and thanking God for what he made us and how he made us, people get lifted up. And that's the attitude of man. We were born with the sinful nature, a nature that doesn't, uh, don't want to give God glory, a nature that is corrupt. It's a, it's a sinful nature. Because of what Adam and Eve did, it was passed down to everybody that was born of a woman. Now, Jesus was not born by sex desire. So, Jesus was born, the spirit overshadowed. Are you with me? So, he wasn't born a sinner. Are you with me? So, uh, <laughs> Maybe I, I go to hold you in Ezekiel and go to uh, Psalms 51. Psalms 51. Jesus was not born a sinner. You know, somebody said, Jesus was born like everybody else. I said, no, 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 no. I don't know who asked me that the other day. I said, no, no. I think a uh, gentleman asked me that. I said, no, Jesus was not born in sin like all of us was born in sin, but not Jesus. Are you with me? Jesus was born of God. Are you with me? Mary was not his mother as being she was an incubator. She was like an incubator. God used the body as to bring forth Jesus Christ, but Jesus, it was not her egg, neither was it Joseph's sperm. Are you with me? But the Spirit of God created egg and sperm, and so if it wasn't her blood, it wasn't his blood, uh, uh, Joseph's blood, but it was the blood of God. Amen? So what happens? He was not born with the sinful nature. He had a nature of God. Are you with me? But the Bible says he was tempted in all like passions such as we. He could feel pain. He could feel sorrow. He could feel rejection. He could feel it all. He wept at Ladder's grave. He could feel sorrow. He could feel everything. He's God that's touched by the feeling of our what? Our infirmities. He wanted to see what it's like and what you and I was going through. Being God, he could not feel that. But being a man, he could feel what you go through. He could understand like passions and, it, and he can sympathize with you and understand what you feel he can understand disappointment he can understand rejection he can understand what it's like to be hated he can understand all of that being God he was a spirit but being a man he had to feel what you feel and understand. But he could do it and not sin. He could do it and not sin. You know, we can only take for so much and sometimes we get to mm, we get to uh, uh, why is this happening to me? Or why did uh, so and so and do me like that why did they say that to me and we can start hurting and understand well, uh -uh. I ain't going to take that but Jesus took it he went through it for you and I the Bible says he didn't sin neither was God found in his mouth how many times we said huh they don't know who they messing with you messing with the wrong person when you mess with me because you don't know who I am. Jesus knew who he was, yet he humbled himself. 
They ask him, are you, the, are, are you the king of the Jews? What say you of yourself? <laughs> you know, Jesus, amen, knew who he was, yet he let, he allowed them to do to him the things that they done. But I wonder, will we allow it? Will we allow ourselves to go through what he went through? I said in the Sunday school, he was crucified in weakness. But he rose in power. Are you with me? He rose in power. Amen. You and I are like we are crucified every day. We bear in our, mar our bodies the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. He, 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 he said, I'm crucified with Christ. Paul says, nevertheless, I live. But yet, it's not me that's living. It's Christ that lives in me. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. And because of his resurrection power, we can die to ourselves daily. Are you with me? Because greater is he that's in you than he that is in the world. Amen. Oh, I meant to bring my eclipse paper, and I didn't bring it to the pulpit. Uh, it was talking about in the message alone how the eclipse, uh, this, the darkness covered the moonlight. The moon is the type of the church. Are you with me? And that was a total blackout of the moon. The prophet God said in this age there's a total blackout. He said he permitted me to just to put a little light there. But there's a total blackout. And uh, it says and gross darkness should cover the earth and darkness the people. But he said arise shine for thy light come. And the glory of the Lord has arisen upon thee. Amen. So he said, I say to you, Shalom. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. So uh, this eclipse is, a, he said, I do signs in heaven above and earth beneath, blood and fire and vapors and smoke. The sun should be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. They're talking about the blood and moon. And the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be Say, amen. amen, it's time to call on him. Amen. I said it's time to call on the Lord. Amen. amen, because we see the moon, the blood moon, turn it into blood, and the sun into darkness. In the midst of the day. Phew. But we don't see the sign of the time. We don't see what's happening. What's going on with... Iran and Israel and what's going on over there. We're on the verge of the Third World War. Right at the tip of the iceberg. Right at it. It could, boom. Just like they sent those drones over to Israel. My wife was saying that Putin says, I have an unstoppable bomb. An unstoppable bomb. That, in other words, the United States can't stop this bomb. And you remember the last vision that the prophet saw was America being poom. Are you with me? So, brother and sister, where are we? Will there be a tomorrow? Will there be a future for you and I? I said we need to look up because our redemption. Amen. It, it's time to look to God. God, it, it, oh Lord. This world is getting more and more wickeder. It's getting darker and darker. Amen. amen. So God, amen. I want, to, I want to get out of this place. Amen. You know, I said, you know, sometimes the, uh, a sister or brother going on, amen, it's better to go on than to be around here when these bombs start to fall. It's better to say, I'm going home. So if the Lord come and get me, say, whoa, don't, don't try to bring me back here. Amen. Because it's getting ready to happen. I, I, I believe 
something is uh, it, it's going on. It's, it, this, 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 this place that we call Earth is getting ready to <laughs> go through. It's going through its birth pain, but it's getting worse. God bless you. I got to go back. <laughs> Y'all excuse me. I got off. But let me go back home. Sin. David says here in Psalms 51, have mercy upon me, O Lord God, according to thy what? According to thy loving kindness. According to the multitude of thy tender mercy. Blot out my what? Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and clean me from my for I acknowledge my what? You know, it's something about uh, if you want the Holy Ghost, I, I just listen to God's servant there. He said, if you want the Holy Ghost, he said, if you uh, confess, if you really confess and believe with all your heart and ask God to forgive you and to come into your life, he said, it's, it, then you're bound to get the Holy Ghost if you do it right from the heart. You can hold God to his word and say, God, amen, you promise I believe with all my heart. Amen, amen. Now, you say you believe with all your heart, but if you really believe with all your heart, that entitles you to the Holy Ghost. If you accept Jesus Christ with all your heart and you say, God, I believe with all my heart, Jesus, that you died for my sin and I accept you as my Savior, then it entitles you to the Lord, I, now fill me with your spirit, Lord. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, I, how many believe Jesus died for your sin? I believe. But with all your heart. With all your heart. Now, and when you believe with all your heart, you should say, God, I believe with all my heart. Everything within me, I believe with all my heart. Then I should. So, Lord. You promised me the Holy Ghost so I can hold God to his word. And, you know, I I believe if you believe with all your heart that you can walk out of here this morning filled with the Holy Ghost. But you got to believe with all your heart, not believe with all your head and all your intelligence, but with all your heart. When you believe like that, that means you surrender all to him. That means that you're saying, God, whatever your will is for my life, I want it. Not my will, but yours, Lord. I believe with all my heart. Lord, I give you my all. Everything I got. Lord, I surrender all. The reason why people don't receive the Holy Ghost like they used to is because people don't want to give up. It, It ain't no new way of receiving the Holy Ghost. It ain't no new, it, it, it ain't that God don't want to give you the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is already here. Waiting on you to just receive it. Amen. But it's up to you whether or not you want it or not. Because Jesus Christ is Savior and he's Lord. Okay, I got to move on. David was acknowledging his transgression and his sin was ever before. Against thee and thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. David had done a wicked thing. That thou may be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judge. And then this is what I wanted to get to. Behold, I was what? And I was what? See, we was born a sinner. Did we have anything to do with it? No. We were born a sinner and we didn't have anything to do with how mean we are, how bad we are. We ain't had nothing to do with it. But if you like it, you were born a sin, but you like being who you are, how you was born. I can't have how I was born. No, you can't have it because you was born like that. You was born a sinner. But do you like it? You look in the mirror because I like it. Hmm. I'm this, I'm that. 
You know, we ain't talking about looking in the mirror at your physical makeup, but of your spiritual makeup, what you are in the inside. Do you love who you are? Your character? Do you want to be like you are? If you want it, then you can keep it. But if you're willing to give it up for a better, Amen. Amen. are you with me? Amen. If you want to give it up for better, Amen. then God got something better for you. Amen. A better nature. Amen. You know, us sermons are like this, and us, this is like that, and yeah, and don't brag on that because us, all us is sin. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. So it's not us, this, and us that all have sinned. Amen. We ain't got nothing to boast or brag about. Amen. We all came forth in sin, shaping and iniquity. Nobody got nothing on the other. I don't care how smart you are, I am telling you all, <laughs> sin has its judgment or punishment. For being a sinner, you will be punished. Huh? I didn't do it. I was just born this way. Why are you going to make me pay for something I ain't had nothing to do with? When you look at God, he's unjust. But here's, here's the thing. God is not going to let you pay for something you ain't done. Are you with me? Let's, the whole, I was going to Ezekiel. Let's just go back to Romans. Romans um, 3. And 24, it says, and being justified freely by his grace through what? See, redemption means that to be delivered by paying the price. Redemption means being delivered by paying the price. See, you didn't have nothing to do with being born that way, and you can't do nothing to get yourself out of that state. But I want you to know that the price has been paid. The, pen, the Bible tells us in Romans 6 and 23, for the wages of sin is, is death, but the, God wants to give you a gift to take care of what? The price that you could not pay. Amen. He paid a debt he did not owe. Amen. Are you a man? Amen. Christ Jesus paid a debt. Amen. And I'm glad that he paid the price Amen. that you and I might not be trapped in a sinful body. Amen. We might not have to go to hell and pay a price Amen. because of what somebody else done. Amen. From Adam, praise God. In Adam, the Bible says, all die. But in Christ, all should be made alive. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. So I'm saying to you that, amen, the debt has been paid. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's up to you to receive the gift amen. of eternal life. Amen. For God so loved the world amen. that he gave his only begotten son amen. that whosoever believe in him do you believe? Amen. You know, I, I, I put down something 
Seeing is not believing. Somebody said, I can't see that. But seeing is not believing. He told uh, Thomas, blessed is he that have not seen, but yet they believe. See, we are justified by faith and we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, being justified by faith. Faith is not what you see. It's what you believe. Amen. Amen. And if faith is what you believe, then the faith is the substance of things hoped for and it's the evidence see. Amen. I don't have to see it to believe it. Amen. Praise God. I believe it though I've not seen it, yet I believe. Amen. Are you with me? And I receive the results. Amen. 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 Because I am a believer, Amen. it entitles me. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, they should cast out devils. Amen. Oh, yes, amen. amen. When you are a believer, the devil is in trouble. Amen, amen. amen. because God will give you victory and he gives you power. Amen. amen, sin should not have dominion over you anymore. Amen. amen, praise God. You don't have to worry about sin anymore. You don't have to worry about that old sinful nature anymore. God has handled it. Amen. He took away our sins and he gave us his righteousness. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He, be, he was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. Thank God that I'm no longer a sinner. Amen. Praise God, but he calls me a saint. Amen. You, 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 you children of the God. Praise God. I mean, you were once by nature the children of wrath. Amen. But now, amen, no more. Amen. I'm no more a child of wrath. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Shake somebody's hand. Tell them the apple is not the tree. <laughs> the apple is not the tree. But the apple is the fruit that comes from the tree. But the apple is not the tree. Are you with me? See, the attributes of sin, when folks said, I, I, I still drink, I still smoke, I, 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 I still fornicate, I still commit adultery, I still do this. Amen. Those things are not sin as we see it. But their attributes, the Bible says, you shall know them by their fruit. So what kind of tree is an apple tree? Why? Because this is an apple. A sinner is known by, are you with me? The life you live on the job, in the school, it doesn't matter what church you go to. It doesn't matter what you say you are. It doesn't matter because your actions speak. Your life is, the life you live is saying whether or not you a believer or not. Come on, somebody. How you it may conduct your life, how you look, how you act, how you conduct life tells me. Some folk, you can just look at it in the marketplace and you say, that's a Christian. That young man, there's something about that young man, something about that young lady. She must be a Christian. But some folk, you look at them and the way they carry themselves, you will never say Christian. You never think Christian. Are you with me? In their conversation, you never think Christian. Because there's no Christ in their 
conversation. Are you with me? So we want, amen, to understand what sin is. Sin is to reject God's word. Are you with me? When you reject the word of God, it's the door is open for sin. When you misstep and you step over the boundary like Eve did, she stepped over and she did what she knew she wasn't supposed to do because she disbelieved what God said. Amen. She, we wouldn't have never had to feel pain, never have to feel sorrow, never have to be disappointed if Eve wouldn't have done what she done and Adam followed. Are you with me? You would never have to have some of the problems and difficulties and the things you go through. You would never have to go through those things if you only eat of the tree of life and live forever. Are you with me? Somebody say, well, I see Christians, they go through things. Are you with me? Praise God. Wouldn't you like somebody to be with you? Amen. Even in you? Amen. Amen. See, Jesus said, I'll never leave you. Amen. You know what happens? Amen. Amen. He allowed them to go through the fire, but he took the heat out of it. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. The fire didn't burn them. Amen. Come on, somebody. You go through situations, you have different problems, you go through like everybody else. But what happens? Amen. Amen. Though you walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, he said, I'm with you. And I'll never, I'll never leave you. Are you with me? I'm, I, I, I'm a, oh, if he's with me, I'm all right. Praise God. Amen. Because I know that no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. Amen, amen. amen. I know I'm going to be all right. Amen, amen. Anyhow. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you take this life, I got another one. Amen. Praise God. This one ain't worth much anyway. Amen. Because it ain't, oh, hallelujah. Amen. It ain't worth a dollar now. It sent the soul. Oh, body, amen, of flesh. Amen, but God got me one. Amen. If this earth and the house of this tabernacle were these are, praise God, amen. I'm not going to pay attention to these things, just a corruptible things, when God has promised us incorruption, amen. when God has promised us eternal life. Amen. Why should I turn down eternal life for some lie of the devil? Amen. I'd rather have eternal life than to listen to any of the devil lies. Amen. We have redemption. Praise God. Being, being freely, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption of it that is in Christ Jesus. Amen. I'm so glad he died for my sins. And brother, sister, I don't want to hold you a long time. I'll start again <laughs> on Tuesday. <laughs> Amen. But God bless you this morning. I want you to know there's a Savior that loves you, that died for your sins, that cares about you. If you didn't hear anything else, he loves you. Shake somebody hand and tell them God loves you. He loves you. Amen. Jesus loved me. This I know. For the what? See, it's nothing, no other love. Greater love has no man than this, than a man laid on his life. Even when we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. Are you with me? He loves me. He loves me. 
I'm here because he loves me. I didn't come to church because this is what I got to do. Uh, I, this is what I want to do. He loved me. Amen. He watched over me. Amen. He kissed me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, I, I, I'm not healthy because I, I eat right or I live right. I'm healthy because, amen, because it's your blood and your mercy, your grace amen. upon my life. Hallelujah, I could have been on my bed. I could have been dead and gone. But God, you love me. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, how I love him. Amen. Oh, how I love him. How I adore him. My breath, my sunshine. My all in all. He's everything to me. Amen. I said he's everything to me. Oh, God loves you this morning. Amen. Amen. He died for your sin. Amen. Praise God. He's not holding it against you. He said, I love you Amen. enough to give my life for you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. In turn, can't you thank him for doing it? Can you praise him for doing it? Can't you tell the Lord, thank you? Oh, yes, I thank you. That's what we come to church to do. Tell God, thank you. Amen. We just come to say thank you. That's it. Amen. It ain't about all the other stuff. This is to tell God I love you and thank you. Thank you, Lord. All the other don't mean nothing but the love of God. That's what I want. If you love him back, you'll see that there will be no sick bodies among us. Are you with me? If you just start loving God and, amen, and telling God how much I love you, amen, you'll start loving everybody, amen. Just let that, that love flow, amen. amen. What is sin is the transgression of God's law, amen. But it's been paid for. Praise God, the judge, amen, of the whole earth will do right, and God has done it for you. That you don't have to go to the judgment. He said, there's therefore now no condemnation to them that, that are in Christ Jesus. Are you with me? You're not condemned. Well, I did this. I did that. Come on. There's one that says he stands as an advocate for you. He took your place. You don't have to stay like that. Your guilt of sin, you can say, God, let it be settled. Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I want to live right. I want to do right. I want to be your son, your daughter. Lord, I, I, I thank you. I appreciate it. Every time you come in the house of the Lord, think one thing. I come to tell God how much I appreciate it. Lord, I appreciate what you've done for me. I ain't here for nothing else but to tell God I love you. I, pray, I don't care what's going on. I ain't, I ain't here for that. I'm here to tell God I love you. Praise God. I don't want to hear none of that. I, I, Lord, I love you. I come to worship you, come to praise you, and thank you. I might get some correction because whom the Lord loveth, he rebuke and chasten. Isn't that right? But that's all right. I still love you. Amen. You've done too much for me, and you've been too good to me. Lord, I can't. Praise God, I can't thank you enough. I can't praise you enough. If I had 10,000 tongues, it wouldn't be enough. But thank God I can praise you now. Hallelujah. My sins and iniquities, he said, I remember them no more. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. God says, I don't find no fault. Amen. I'm looking at you, and I'm looking at you through the blood. Your sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Are you up, man? The blood has paid it all. Thank God. Let us stand. Jesus paid it all. Amen. Aren't you glad he paid it all? Everything that you could imagine. You don't have to go out here with a guilty conscience with your head hung down. 
thinking about I made some missteps. But you can say, Lord, I love you. And I want you to know that I love you in spite. I might be weak and I might be weary and I might be wounded, but I love you, Lord. Oh, and I know you love me. It's something that I can't get away from. It doesn't matter what goes on, what folks say, I can't stop loving you. Praise God, sometimes I trip up, I mess up, but I can't stop loving you. Thank you, Lord, for loving me the way you do. Amen, praise God. I thank you. Praise God, y'all don't know how I feel. Uh, I said it's a burden on my heart for the people just to, I don't worry about the things and mistakes you make and all of that. I worry about, I, I want one thing in, in bright time and I can everybody love God. Amen. I won't have no problems with all of the stuff that folk are worrying about if you just love God Amen. with all your heart. Yes. Praise God. Once you love God like that, I believe you can love one another. Yes. I believe you can forgive one another yes. if you can just love God right. Praise God. Hallelujah. It, it, it's contagious. It'll take over the place. Just love him. Amen. As our heads are by our hearts are looking to him. Father in Jesus' name. Lord, we want to say thank you. Hallelujah. Oh God. Let your love become contagious. And let everybody that's under the influence of the word, oh God. Realizing that we got a God that's releasing his love. Breathe on us today. The breath of life. Breathe on them. That they might receive the Holy Ghost. For your Holy Ghost is the love of God. Set it abroad in our hearts. Hallelujah. Father, may your love. Let it spread. Let it become contagious. Let everyone that is, oh God, come so in love with you, Lord, to understand your compassion. Hallelujah. Oh, come to Jesus, brother, sister, friend. Allow his love to become so real to you. Oh, is that merciful God. Let his blood be applied to your life. And let your sins be blotted out. Hallelujah. Though your sins be as scarlet, I make them white as snow. As our heads are bowed and our hearts are looking to him. Do you believe with all your heart that God can make your sins, take them away, and make you white as snow? If you want him to do that, just lift your hands and go. Yes, I've sinned, but I acknowledge. And I believe from the heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I believe from my heart, with all of my heart, God. Lord, may you take these sins and put them in the sea of forgiveness. Lord, may you, oh God, take the sin for life, the sin for nature away. That's wily nature way. And Lord, I want your divine nature, Lord. I want to live like you. I want to think like you. I want to walk like you. I want to be like you. God, that's what I want. Come in, Jesus. Come in. I welcome you. I want to thank you for all that you've done for me, all that you're doing now. I want to tell you I love you. I want you to know. Lord, I love you. I appreciate you. God, you're good to me. Lord, your match is everlasting. Lord, I want you to have your way, God. Please, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Let the Lord, I ain't been giving him what he wants. Amen. Can you give him what he wants? He wants to. Hallelujah. Your praise. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't have much, Lord. But Lord, inhabit the praises of his people. Well, oh God, may you have preeminence. Thank you, Lord. Why they're playing and singing. If you want a prayer, you can come. I lift my hands in total adoration to you. You reign on the throne, for you are God and God. Because of you, my cloudy days are gone, and I can sing to you this song. But I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Oh, I lift, I lift my hand. In total adoration unto you, you reign on the throne, for you are God and God alone. Because of you, my days are gone. Oh, yeah. I can sing to you this song, Lord, I just want to say that I love you more than anything. Oh, if you love them, lift your hands and say, Lord, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you, Lord, Lord, I love you more than anything. Oh, Lord, I love you. I love you, Jesus. Oh, and I worship, I worship and adore you. Lord, I just want to tell you, oh, yes, that I love you more than anything. Oh, said they hung him high, they stretched him wide. Now I was here, and for me he died, that's love, oh, that's love, oh, they hung him, they hung him high, stretched him wide, oh, and for me he died. Oh, that's love. Oh, but that's not how. But that's not how. Oh, three days later. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, remember, if you 
love him and confess him with all of your heart, remember he promised you the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And if you don't have it, you're going to check out. Do I love him with all my heart? With everything? If I don't have the Holy Ghost, then I should have it. And then I can say to God, you said if I repent of my sins, be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of my sins, you said you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. If my repentance is right, and I mean it from my heart, then you're entitled to the Holy Ghost. Are you with me? Amen. So there's no reason why you don't have it if you do what he says. God bless you. May let's just bow again. Father, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, Lord, your word is right. You've given us a message that is revealed to us the hour that we live in. In this hour, let's take advantage of your word. Father, for the hour is late and time is winding up. So, Lord, if we're not saved, it's nobody fault but ours. So, Father, let us do more. For you said the bride has made, his wife has made herself ready. Let's make ourselves ready now. For the hour is late. Brother, sister, friend, you don't know what tomorrow holds. But you know who holds tomorrow. So, Father, in Jesus' name, may you keep each and every heart, each and every family, each and every home. Pray for my brother Melvin tonight, this day. Pray that you touch him, God. Pray that you be with him, Lord. You strengthen him. In Jesus Christ's name, as we leave this place today, but never your presence. Pray that you'll be with each and every one. Your blood would cover. Your name would be glorified. In Jesus Christ's name. Lift Jesus up. Amen. Amen. Lift Jesus up. Amen. God bless you.